This is Dr. Carroll, and we have another video in the heaps category. Now that we have a wonderful data structure that is simple and efficient for retrieving the highest priority items, let's extend it to be able to convert an array of potentially unsorted values into a heap. We'll call this method build heap. As you'll remember, the heap has two properties. First, that it's a complete binary tree, that's its structure property, and also it's um, it has two properties. First, that it's a complete binary tree, that's its structure property, and also its heap order property, which is that the value or the key of every node is greater than the value, the keys of the its children, and that's a recursive definition. Okay, so we, we need to make sure that we're going as we're going to go from this unsorted array to a heap that it meets these two criteria. Okay, so build heap. The algorithm has two major steps, and that's it. This you're going to love this. Okay, first we take an unsorted array of values and assume that it's a complete binary tree now a complete binary tree. Well, that's great because then it fulfills the structure property requirement. It's fast, it's easy, um, great. That would, we're, we're done with that one. Okay. Now the other step is what's called heapify to, to make it a heap. Heapify, I didn't make that up, that's an industry standard term. So we're going to heapify. So what is heapify? So the way the way Heapify works is it calls bubble down or percolate down in, in other texts for each node. Okay, for, so for each node, we're going to call bubble down to to make it um, a heap, and we're going to start at the lowest level and 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 go through each node. If we do this, then it's going to fulfill the heap order property because it will make sure that the relationships between the parents and the children are all set. If we do these two things, we say, hey, you're now a complete binary tree, and um, we're, we're going to heapify it, then we have a heap. Let's see an example. All right. So here we have an array of unsorted numbers. Truth be told, I just asked Excel to, to randomize it, and there we go, random numbers. Okay. So now we have this. We, we, we've already done step one. We've said you are a complete binary tree. Here we go. We can see that. Now the second step is to heapify every node, okay, starting at the lowest level. Let's start from the back of the array forward. Okay, heapify on five. Okay, done. Heapify on ten. Um, done. Four. Done. Two. Done. Six. Done. Three. Okay, three actually has a child, so that's kind of interesting. So let's um we we need to heapify on starting at three for this subheap. And so to do that we need to find its largest the, the child that has the largest value and and bubble it down. Okay. Let me toggle between the two. So we're switching those two and I've got the array notation down here that we're gonna update as well. Okay, so we've heapified uh, sorry, we've bubbled down from here. Now we go to the next one. In our in our list, which which would be eight. Oh, we 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 need to bubble down eight, and we choose the larger child. And ten, sure enough. Okay, we we swap those two. Okay. Now we come to six. Six does. Oh, um, we we need to heat. We need to bubble down on this sub heap, and we'll pick the the larger child, which is six. You can see that those changes there. Okay, now we come to seven here. We say, hey, does seven need to be bubbled down? Oh, it does because of this 10 here. So then um, we bubble it down. So you can see that. And we, we change the array and we change the, the, the heap. But notice we're not done yet. Seven, because it's not a leaf yet, could potentially potentially need to go down even further and it, and it does and so then we we bubble down again and we make that small change there okay so now this is a subheap and this is a subheap and then we go to the root and we we call bubble down on it 
and we just have to go one level. But notice if this value was smaller than some values in one or more values in its subheap, then it would need to be bubbled down again, uh, potentially until it hits a leaf. And and there we go. So let let's flip back to that first, the the first one here. Notice we it was pointless to bubble down on all the the nodes that don't have a child. In fact, what's interesting is half of the nodes in a heap, half, do not have children. I know, imagine a really large one, half of them um, uh, are not going to have a, a child. And so what we can do is we can start halfway through the array and um, only call bubble down for half of it. Well, that's a great time savings, half of n, that, that, that's worth it. Okay, that, that's, that's something that's going to help out. So we could change heapify to call bubble down for each non-leaf node. Or if you're going to implement this, you could start at the, the midpoint, uh, n divided by 2. Okay. And now that we have a fast and easy order n method to transform an unsorted array into a heap, and it's really fast and easy, order 1, to get the largest value we could combine these two to make an efficient sorting algorithm. This algorithm would be called heap sort, and it is called, and it will be detailed in another video. That's it for this video.